Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Christmas edition of Netflix, the Subutio Show. We're going to be here for God knows how long, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, could be an hour and a half. We're going to be talking all things Subutio and all things Christmas. How you doing, boys? You looking forward to Christmas? Can't wait, mate. Can't wait. Love it. Excited? What's no, it, yeah, Stephen? Yeah, yeah, can't yeah. wait, mate. Looking forward to it now. Who's got Subutio on their list this year? Mm, no, it's all on my it. list every year. Sorry, mate. No, I don't. Right, I drop hints all year long, right? I swear, I drop hints to Beauty Studio, and she never gets me any. <laughs> and do you know why, right? She you, goes, must be impossible, you, you must be impossible to buy for, though, because you buy shit all year round. I mean, you she, buy stuff all year I, round. <laughs> Has Callum just dropped his first swear word? <laughs> <laughs> He's out of Baileys, look. He's out of Baileys. <laughs> He's out of Baileys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to add it out of the language, but we've all had a bit of a drink, so uh, we'll see what comes of it. <laughs> so before we get any further into this and we start talking Christmas, in our last video, we said we would let the public choose the best Subutio pitch out of our choices Don't because we tired. Let me down. So the options were, first we had the 70s cotton pitch or blaze pitch or base pitch, whatever you want to say it. Then we had the winter pitch. Then we had my modern pitch out of the modern pitches. And then mm. we had the Astro Turf Astro. pitch. Mm. So in fourth place was my modern pitch, Ooh. which I'm quite happy to say in fairness, right? It's, I'm not surprised because most people haven't got it, I don't think. So they won't. Yeah. It didn't get no votes. It didn't get no votes, which made me quite happy. Someone voted for it, which made me quite happy. Excellent. In third place, we then had the 70s pitch. <sighs> third? Third, it came third to the winter pitch, which comes second, which means oh. the best Subutio pitch is the Astro pitch. Woo, woo. But, it, but it isn't, is it? Another win. <laughs> <laughs> so Callum's going to do a chat, do a bit on his channel one day, I reckon, where he's like, so we've done this thing on Netflix, but none of it was the winner. So I'm going to talk about what was best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, my, my, my idea is always best. Yeah. That one. <laughs> So in our ultimate Subutio set, we've got the Astro pitch. Yeah, brilliant. We've got with, to get a decent Astro pitch yeah, now. With Italian 90 goals. With... This is going to be balls did we have? We had the Samba balls. No, not Samba balls. Sorry, we had the Tango balls. Yeah. With Samba Doria. Yeah. And Plymouth Argyle teams. Mm -hmm. This box is going to be huge. and It's going to cost us a fortune. So if you're new to the channel... We need to get some money in from ad revenues, brother. Yeah, find us, a spon <laughs> find us a sponsor because we said we would put this set together at our own expense and then auction it off for charity. And it's now mm -hmm. going to cost us a fortune. So if anyone's watching and wants to sponsor us or you know someone oh. wants to sponsor us, yeah. let us know. Well, if anyone has, if anyone's got an Astro pitch or a set of Italian 90 goals or, I mean, out of that tangos, I think we'll be able to find, we can paint a 54 and a, a, a free You nine. boys can do one each. You boys can yeah. do one each. So if, if anyone does have an Astro pitch or anything they want to give to us, because we like I say, we are going to donate. We're going to auction this off and donate it to charity. If we have to, we'll buy it. Uh, we're going to make it happen, but it would be really cool if someone wanted to get involved and send, send us one so we can use it or at least sell and us one on the cheap if, if you've got one you want to give us on a little bit of a markdown so not ebay prices that would be good as well and if we're voting on what the best trophy is we're not we're going to ban the league cup from this because that's going yes. to cost oh, 100 yes. nobody put that in no, 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 Stu, you want to donate yours? no you're all right Stu, you, Stu, you can just you know what no i'll go as far as to say it's not the best trophy <laughs> Yeah, H. Don't say anything else because that'd be it's good. Not, I'm looking over there, and it's not the best trophy. There's a better trophy. There is a better trophy, but that's to come. So this is all about. I want to know now, though. That's the thing. I'm like, okay, go on then. Yeah, straight away we we got on a tangent already. But this is about Christmas, chaps. In the new year, we'll talk about the best non subutio products. We'll talk about the most useless <laughs> subutio products. We'll talk about trophies. We'll talk about best player types. We'll talk about it all. But this is all about Christmas. And I know mm. I've put feeders out. I know some of you boys have put feeders out as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to randomly point. I can't, how can I randomly point? Someone put their hand up. Whoever puts their hand up first is going to be the person that goes through their Subutio story at Christmas first and then tell the stories they've been sent because I know some of the ones I've been sent are great. So who's going to put their hand up? Who's going to want to go nobody, first? Nobody who's put their hand up. Nobody doing it. it. Oh, you're all no good. One. You're all going to be like, hey, we go. What's he's got his uh, hand up? Come uh, up. Oh, 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 he's turned himself off. <laughs> oh, cheek of it. I'm sick of this advertising that he keeps doing. <laughs> yeah. Who do you reckon is wrong him? Do you reckon he's had another phone call? Keeps happening. He keeps putting his logo up. Can we cut this <laughs> out? Because this is out of order. I like is, is, is he on the phone? He's still there. No. We can hear him. What, what's, what's, he? what's happened? I'm trying to. Uh... I'm trying to get the story, but I can't find it. 
Alright, <laughs> 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 so no one's put their hand up, so I'll go first. So we'll get mine out of the way. Boys, I forgot to mention, before we go any further, for then people listening now, wait till the end, because we've all bought each other a secret Santa. And I know a couple of us, a couple Can't of us do it. know who Is they're it? from, but this could be quite funny. <laughs> We're all going to unbox them for everyone really, to see. I'm really happy about what I bought my person. Like, it wasn't what I originally planned. I had a really good idea. And then I was like, oh, I can't get that done. And then I had a brainwave and it turned out, I personally think it's, it's both funny and brilliant at the same time. So I'm excited about it. But yeah, we'll save that to a bit later. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, you will see that. First, we're going to talk about our story. So don't skip ahead on the video because it tells us in the analytics who's watched it and what, what point. Mm -hmm. So make sure you watch all of it and build up to us unboxing these at the end. But I'll get started with my Christmas Beauty story. Right, in fact, scrap that. Completely scrap that. Watsy, you're going first. I've decided you're going first because you keep disappearing off the screen. So I'm you're back. going first, all right? As punishment for disappearing off that screen all the time. You're going first. <laughs> Go on, man. Tell us that call. A cracking Christmas story. So I got this set for Christmas for myself, right? I was uh, 10 years of age. Is that, the actual, is that the actual box still as well? Yeah, yeah. Nothing in it, like, scoreboard. So, uh, That's cool. got that, took it everywhere with me, moved to Canada, took it with me, moved to America, took it with me, moved to London, took it with me, and I still have it here in Derry. Legends. I am finding out a lot about WhatC through doing this show. Yeah. I have yeah, no when idea. did you move? When you've lived you in the States, to Canada, America, and London, and <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I didn't. I got this a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were so sucked in then as well, weren't we? I believed it. I believed it. <laughs> so was I. I didn't live in all them, but no, somebody, somebody found that in a house clearance and sold it to me for 20 quid. Um, but what, I, have a, in it? I have a Christmas story from Toffee Art. He, um, He's gone back to 1984, maybe 1985. Can't remember, he says. He Finish. received a European edition of, of Father Christmas. And he sent the pick. Um, he says, after Christmas dinner, I went upstairs, laid out the pitch on the bedroom floor. Germany v France, waiting all day to play this game. Anyways, the game's on the way, and I've made it up. I have made it up with my upgrade from Club Edition, which I received the year before. There is, wow. how long? I have to turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> there is a warm orange glow in my bedroom window. I can smell burning. I get up from the bedroom floor and look out the window of our mid terrace to see flames billing out of the next door neighbor's kitchen. His house is on fire. I run downstairs, <laughs> alert, my, alert my old fella, and he. <laughs> And he and the fellow from over the road break into the house next door and drag our neighbour out who had fallen asleep whilst making chips on the chip pan. Chips on Christmas night. Anyways, the fire brigade came, etc, etc. The neighbour lived to tell the tale of how an 11-year-old boy playing solo subudio with his new Christmas Day subudio set upstairs in his bedroom saved his life. Or maybe how subudio saved his life. The end. Merry Christmas. That is Parker. So we save Christmas. The beauty will save. It's a great story. That's and it. That's we just ended there. No one, no, no one's story is going to top that. It's the beauty will save Christmas. And that, everyone, is an end to 2021. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. What an, uplift, what an uplifting story as well. What, what, I know, though, it, yeah. what I really want to know from uh, Toffee Art, if you can get in touch, is what was the final score when he eventually got it done? <laughs> yeah, did he get the game going again? And um, is that the only game of Sabuto that's ever been delayed for a house fire? I would have thought the floodlights would have been res responsible for a few fires. <laughs> yeah, but the floodlights are rubbish, aren't they? And I, oh, I have another... So anybody has also, to... just, sorry, just on Toffee Art as well, if you're ever in, at an Everton game, go to the church in the corner of the ground just before kickoff, and he sells all sorts of little Sabuto bits and brilliant prints and frames and everything mm. in that little church in the corner of Everton's ground. Yeah. So get down to that. Cool. Have you met him before, yeah? Yeah, but uh, it was before I was doing the blog, so I didn't know that it was him. But I've seen the the, the, the little Sabutio players in um, the, uh, the beautifully painted as well. But yeah, it's good blue. Yeah, he's a good lad. He, I've got a lot of stuff off him, but it's all head, it's all, head, it's all Christmas presents. Um, there's <laughs> another there's a podcast, if you get the chance, listen to it. It's called Top Flight Time Machine. I don't know if you've heard them. No. Um, I think they're two, two northern boys. They're funny. I mean, 
they have they do a Christmas story about the video. They just talk in general about they talk about Royal Rovers and East Enders. It's fun. It's one of the funniest things you'll listen to. But they do that. They do a show about the Christmas video set and the the plans to be doing how their their mag keeps fuck, kicking them out. Big fights. Him and the brother keep having fights, and the you know, the mum put the set away for years in the attic. But listen to it. top flight time machine. It's brilliant. There's loads on there about Royal Rovers as well. Give them a oh. check. That's me. That's cool. Excellent. So we've learned of a new channel and we've learned that Sabutio saves Christmas. Sabutio mm. saves someone's life. And we've also learned and that lots of Wattses lived in America and London. <laughs> and Canada, yeah. apparently. And Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quality. Excellent. That quality. So who wants to go next? Boys, who top, you don't know where you are on my screen. So Wattsy, no, you no. decide, top or bottom, and I'll tell you who's going next. Uh, go top. Top, Stephen, over to you, my man. What Christmas stories oh, have you got? Right. <laughs> Mine's pretty similar. I've got pretty much the same box set. So my first box set, the Sampdoria, Sampdoria Leeds, um, early 90s, late 80s box set. Um, and not that exciting stories. I was typical, you know, set, set up on the carpet to play a tournament. I do remember originally getting a, getting a few extra teams and playing a tournament. Um, played it all the way through, you know, two legs if needed, penalties if needed. Took ages and ages. Um, Everton got to the semi-finals. Solo play completely. They got knocked out, and I, and I quit the tournament in a, in a you know, upset that Everton didn't get through to the final. So I never ever finished it. So, and I think that speaks to the mentality of an Evertonian. That even when I was in control of the entire tournament, managing both teams, Everton still lost somehow. So yeah. Um, but the, the, yeah, the, this 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 is my first box set. I think it's. Is that the original one? Is that the same one? Is that the one you had? No, it's oh, not. Man, none I'm, of us got I'm it. So annoyed like, because. I was such a, I was the original football hipster. So in the 90s, I was buying all sorts of obscure, lightweight teams. And yeah, they've all gone now. So oh, I rebought this one to, um, to to replace all my old 3 tier stuff. But I wanted to flag as well. This set was actually given to me by somebody who just was about to throw it out. And these are the best sets on eBay to have a look at. And just look at what teams are included. Because there's also, one of my baubles has fallen off. Oh, um, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Better blue. But they have such... So, some of these sets have some really weird teams in, and there was one on eBay not too long ago that I lost out. It was added as a, a new listing, and I tried to buy it straight away, buy it now. It was £15, and it had Maritimo from Portugal as one of the teams wow. inside it. They do. That's uh, when so somebody got used to bargain. buy teams inside for the sake of it, isn't it? Well, this one's got Kilmarnock and Motherwell, again, nice. which, like, that Motherwell's quite a rare lightweight team. Yeah, so, so my, I've, got, yeah. I've got one of them sets, and in it, I've got the messed up Motherwell. You know, the, like, the white version with the red that everyone goes on about being yeah. really rare, the rare misprint that's actually not that rare because it's in a shed load of box sets. <laughs> I, I wrote about that. It turns out it is quite common. Yeah, yeah it's but, in, um, everyone I, goes yeah, on about I, how rare it is. Yeah. I, I did a tweet um, just with a, a picture of some of the different box sets that you can get. Um, just asking which one people got for Christmas. And there was loads of responses. I'm going, oh, I'll quickly fly down because there were just a huge amount of them. Um, lots of people say Munich, which I'm so jealous of. Imagine getting up at Christmas morning and coming down and that Munich box set is under the tree. That would just be such an amazing event. Yeah. Um, lots now of people with the lead that, Sampdoria the one. Thing is, the thing is with Munich, it's the box in it. What's in it is basic. Yeah, but pennies. in 1974, it was a different oh, to, world, yeah, wasn't it? So all, you'd have, yeah, like, yeah. Wrong. To get it all in a box is madness. But people love a Munich, and I get it. And it like as, in a, as a heavyweight person, it becomes like what as a heavy like heavyweight characters want that set or the world of sport one that's got like, everything in it. But world of sport. everyone everyone wants that Munich set, and then you look at it and yeah. you think, oh, it's cool, but it's just the box in it. The box is what makes it. The value is in the box, not what's in it. It surprises sense. me that you don't like it because you're so I, I heavyweight. It's unreal. You're that, so heavyweight. Plus, my old man's got one, so eventually... Oh, so it's not that special to you. That's yeah, and like. eventually I'm going to have it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, haven't got to, I haven't got to try and buy one because eventually... He's got one in the family. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Oh. I did get a tweet. I did get a tweet from Paul McDonald, who, who, which I think you'll agree with. Callum, we were saying it was literally the greatest Christmas morning ever for any ten-year-old. And um, played three three matches against himself before anyone else woke up at that morning. So I don't know if he snuck down and opened it early. Um, pitched two goals, two teams, a couple of large brown footballs done. There you go. That, that's definitely the FFC talking about there. So you'll be pleased with that one. Mm -hmm, um, definitely. Got a couple of others today as well. So Aaron Long, I quite like this. Um, he carefully opened the West Germany national team that was already wrapped under the tree on the run up to Christmas 1988. 
and parents has gone out to gave them a little trial before the big day, wrapped them back up and put them back under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. What an absolute and, legend. Um, um, MUFC Vintage on Twitter as well. Um, <laughs> this is this Christmas. Uh, don't tell the wife, but he's managed to get two 90s United of the Way kits plus um, 1978 Argentina and Peru, Peru national teams. Um, he's got some vintage, vintage pictures, nets, and a few other add ons for eBay. So that is after dinner Christmas Day. Is he giving them to the, the wife for Christmas? Men. Oh, he's going to set up a tournament for after Christmas dinner for all the men in the family. So, Oh, what a legend. Such a bit, uh, all women. Women can play too. Get them involved. This is um, true. This is true. And then one more, James Ashcroft got one, um, Christmas 1998, so one of the later sets. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, Wimbledon and Newcastle with the three teams. Um, nice. So he played, for his, his, he played for his local team on a Saturday morning and then spent the afternoon recreating the weekend's Premier League fixtures with his dad. It was quite nice. Yeah, I got quite a few like that. Just people say it was somebody who got the Liverpool kit, but it was the previous season, so they were gutted. So you know, the one with the three stripes <laughs> over the shoulder, they, that's the one they wanted, but oh, they got the previous kit. year's one. Yeah, so that was the <laughs> footballarchives.com. Yeah, it's loads of little... people remember in the box set for Christmas. So, like, going back to what you said about Munich box set, like, is it that good? That's like the seventies equivalent of picking up a late eighties, early nineties stadium edition. You've got the t- multiple the trays is, in it. it like, you, I think when you're a kid good, and it's like, a massive just, box not, under the tree, it's just dramatic. It's a big event. Oh, yeah. it's a big oh, box don't get me wrong. Here. Don't get me wrong. If this year and there isn't, if this year there was one of them under the tree, I'd be absolutely buzzing for it. But in terms of like being something that I really want, like that I think, oh, I've got to have that. I've got to have that. It's just not, I don't know. I'm just not massive. I'm going to say this now on this show, but I'm not a massive <laughs> box set Heavyweight fan. Oh, no. 100% I am. <laughs> I'm just not a massive, I'm not a massive box set fan. I just don't really, it's like I don't see the appeal of them. I just think once you've got like one, you don't really need another one. I think that's probably where I am with it. And yeah, I'm you say that though, but they've all got probably different pictures hammered. on. Yeah, I know they do, and that's cool. One's and got Sam Badoria on it, one's got Watford yeah. on it, one's got David Platt on it somewhere, isn't it? One's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and the old boxes are really cool, like the, self, like the drawing ones, the art ones, and I get and it. I, see, I, don't, I actually don't like them ones. I get, I, I get them, because oh, it's just my generation. I understand yeah, I if you're from that sort of era, then yeah, that looks like classic football, but I like the one that what, like the ones like Watts has got behind him. That just looks... To me, that's Sabutio. If I think of Sabutio, that's what I think of. I don't think of a picture of a guy in like shorts jumping up to oh, head yeah, ball and the, all that. The international edition, the original with the little globe of all the flags. Oh, mate, that box is lovely. I just think the 80s brought in graphic design as opposed mm. to stencil art. Yeah, and the 80s brought in a lot of rubbish. So <laughs> <laughs> Got rid of heavyweights, more like. And that's why you don't like it. So, go on in. Stephen, are you, is that all your stories? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a few more, but it's lots of people just sharing the favourite box sets and everything else. I think it was quite funny that half the stories were people saying they were a kid and they opened this box and it was amazing. And half of them were adults now saying, oh yeah, we've got this for after we're all drunk later in the evening. Which says to me that Sabutio is the perfect Christmas present because it entertains the kids in the morning and it'll entertain mm-hmm. the adults or cause a massive family row. I'm going to try on Christmas Eve. The, when when my dad comes around Christmas, Christmas Eve, that. I'm going to try and give him a game of Sabutio and we'll see how that goes. And it'll probably end up, that'll probably end up in a row. Film it, film it, film it. No, because it will end up in a row. We, don't, we, we, we row at the best of times. Like, he could walk in the door and we could have a row. <laughs> So it could it it could be interesting. So let's see. Seeing as um, Callum doesn't like Munich and doesn't seem like any box sets, let's hear your Christmas story. Right. Start with like I can't remember if this was a like a Christmas thing. Like I can remember obviously my Premier League set, which I've mentioned on my channel. Like I don't have the original, but I do have the original pitch still, and I do have the original goal still and the balls and one of the teams that my dad put in it that he'd repainted because it was the uh the reds and blues obviously classic i had the stuart ripley premier league edition that we all thought was alan shearer <laughs> yeah. right, tell yeah. me that i that's proper mandela effect right that is alan shearer for years yeah, that's been alan shearer it's stuart ripley he's got it's blonde not. hair alan shearer. It's not. <laughs> mandela effect i always thought about shearer i always thought that was shearer on that set it's Ripper's voice. It's not. It's not. Stephen's Shira's the voice. most followed Sabutio account on Twitter, and if he thinks it's Alan Shearer, it's Alan Shearer. No, it's still wrong. It it's just because he's got a colour. <laughs> I'm telling you now, Stuart Ripper. Anyway, so, but I don't know if I got that at Christmas, right? So then I was like, okay, I don't think I've got any like a hundred percent like funny Sabutio stories, but I can go with like a, a something that happened to me as a kid. Like I got um, 
uh, my mum and dad wanted to get one when I was younger, so I had like two Christmases. So the one I had at my mum's house, I got an action man, right, with the car. I don't know if anyone remembers it, but I got this red like sports car and the action man had like a leather jacket, a sniper rifle that came apart. And uh, obviously at Christmas, I had a lot of chocolate, right? I've been piling in this chocolate all day and I puked in the car and I don't think I ever used it properly again. <laughs> um, but that's like the funny Christmas thing. Sputio wise, like, there's loads. Like, we spent a lot of time as kids at my old man's playing Sputio. We had players go out the window, so ending up in the garden. Um, obviously what? Everyone, how? how? Uh, it's cold at window, Christmas. Why was the window open yeah, for, for, for starters? Say, it wouldn't have been like 100%. I can't think of it was definitely at Christmas, but like, you know them windows? Like, they're real old school windows. My dad used to live in like farmhouses, so they've got like the metal bar of all the holes in and you push it out and you put it over the little thing and it yeah. ended up going like all the way yeah, open. Yeah. So I think it was all the way open. And I'm pretty sure he was playing my brother and he had this shot and the geezer just flicked up off the pitch and he must have travelled about six foot in the air to flip out of the window and then we spent about half hour, 45 minutes trying to find the geezer. But yeah, Looking so... Real football, uh, it? Leaving the pitch without permission? I think it would be, yeah. And obviously it was the lay of the game as well so that wouldn't that didn't go very well. Was he winning? Um... I can't, probably. My dad always used to win. My dad's very good. I mean, yeah, you've seen my dad playing. Yeah? I've played him. I've played him. My dad is. Yeah, my dad is lethal. And the thing is, he can use both his hands, which is really irritating because I can't. <laughs> I'm only one handed. Like, my dad is like, because he plays from one side of the pitch as well. So, yeah. whereas I have, to be a, I have to be able to get around the whole thing. So, if I'm playing against him on a pitch, I can only get to one side. I've got not like, everything goes up the side nearest me because I can't reach over there. So defending against me is really easy. But yeah, so I had a couple of stories coming actually. Um, I've got one here from uh, at Colin Hum on Twitter, which was, uh, I won't read it word for word, but basically he got a set in 1975 um, for, I think it was his birthday actually. Yeah, his birthday's on the 15th of December. So he had this new Sputo set in 1975. He doesn't say what particular set it was, but he had, a Luton Town ref 169 and a Man City away ref 76, which is very continental. Nice. Um, but he ends it on a bit of a sour note because actually he got a super striker set at the same time and he played that more. Oh. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> because he said that the super on a banner, it? <laughs> was easier to play. I've never played it, to be fair, but he said it was easier oh. to play. So, But he does prefer Sabutio now because of all the teams and stuff and it being a little bit harder. But as a kid then... Yeah. They spent most of the time playing Super Striker. Um, I've got one here from Andrew Sharp on Facebook, uh, which was a pretty good story, actually. So he was playing as uh, Forrest. And I don't mind saying it as a Leicester fan. I can say the word Forrest, but we don't talk about him too much. Um, so he, had a, he was using John Robertson. And uh, obviously, he was playing as a winger. And everyone knows when you're growing up playing Smutio, it's not on the table. So this geezer had been broken quite a few times. Um, and to get him back onto his base, they melted him on using the gas hob. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> he ended up being pretty much nothing. just like a melted like torso onto a base. Which I think in all fairness, cool. gas hobs, they've come, they come in handy for a lot more than just cooking. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? And that is just another use you've got for it. Mm. You do. I like got it. a couple That's more. I like that. So I've got one here from uh, David Elton. Uh, he got his first video set in 1971 when he was seven. Uh, two years later, he got a ref seven and a ref 13. The World Cup goals and the black and white ball. You know the one with the old stickers on it? You mean the best goals for video I've ever made? Hey, look, do you know what? <laughs> out, of the ones we actually, out of the ones we actually picked, Stephen, yes, the best goals for video ever no, they made. They didn't win, though. It didn't win, did it? It wasn't about the winner. So it's not the winner. Because, Italian 90 won because, it. Because you two, let's not argue about it. It's Christmas balls, all right? That's <laughs> <laughs> what Christmas is for! <laughs> We this was about arguing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got all that stuff and then he's just grown it over time over the next six years. And obviously, David, I don't know if any of you guys know him through Facebook. I get that off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's, he's still into it. And another one, this is a really, really short one, but this one, this one is like, I save this one till last because it's short, but it's so good. So um, it doesn't say what year this was, but it says, my parents bought me the ref and linesman set for Christmas. So I immediately set the pitch up and he knelt on the linesman, right? Oh. As he started to cry, his nan walked in and stood on the referee. <laughs> so his brand new <laughs> set has now got a broken linesman oh. and a broken referee because that's just what happens. Like that's when up. you play on the floor, it happens. Like it gets broke. And that's why like a lot of my original teams before I sold them or got rid of them, like the left backs, the right backs. So 
two, three, seven, and eleven were always shorter than the rest of the team because they just get knelt on, <laughs> trod on, yeah. broken. But yeah, so that's that's it. That's what I've got for Christmas, boys. Because like I say, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure the Premier League set was a Christmas present, but I can't 100% guarantee it. But yeah, and I still have bits of it, like I said, but not not the whole. I do have a new version of it as well, but not my original one. So I haven't told my story yet, but. But two out of three people got spewed over Christmas. Callum, did you never get spewed over Christmas? Or was it just around your family? I think I did, but I don't think I ever got a box. I can remember getting like a, um, a painted Blackpool from my old man in like this. I've still got the box that it came in actually, but I might even have the team or did I strip it? I think I've just stripped it actually because I'm going to repaint oh. it. So you've got, it a in... you got, you got a present from your old man and you, you, yeah, yeah. you've stripped it down. <laughs> Jim, yeah. man, if you're Jim, Jim, honestly... Have a word with your son. <laughs> Bag out of order. Bag out of order. <laughs> yeah, it came in this little... Does he know like, as well? Because if he don't know, I've just dropped you right in it. <laughs> I think he does. I'm pretty sure he does. But yeah, I think it came in. You know when you get like... I want to say it's like a Ferrero Rocher little plastic like thing and it had the, the Blackpool in it. That I think was his original Blackpool, but he painted it into something else and then it had been painted over. Painted over so many times, which is why I've stripped it because I've got the Blackpool now. But yeah, I did get Spooto for Christmas, but I, I don't think ever, it, it was, I always had it. So it wasn't like, oh, I've got a box set, let's get it all set up. Like, because my old man's been into it for as long as I've been alive, it's just always been around. So I yeah. used to get things, yeah, but as a kid, like, it wasn't like, oh, that's now the only set I've got. Like, my old man had a table from as long as I can remember, and then I got one in my room. So when we, he lived it separately, we had two Spooto tables up. So there was always a game going on. Win a win a chicken dinner. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant, man. I had some really, really nice. good... I had a solo league and stuff. Like, he's got... I've still got all my results and scorers and teams, all that sort of stuff written down. So, eventually, one day, when I get the table back out, I'm going to carry it on from where I left off, which I want to say is 2005-06, I think. How many seasons did you do? Uh, I want to... I probably started in the mid to late 90s. I want to say maybe 97 was when I first started. Wow, that's commitment. Mm. I'm my never going back got, to my FA Cup. <laughs> Come on, mate. I, we should do it. Le- do it for charity. Do it for charity. Forest, Play that Forest, final. And, Forest and Leeds in the final. It's not the, oh, not no, the yeah, final actually, we're all after. Actually, mate, yeah, don't play it. Don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> not even them, but yeah, so I've still got all that stuff. My old man's got, he played every season from like 70s all the way up to one of the early 90s seasons. And he kind of, he sort of stopped halfway through because he felt like he didn't have like the affinity with the players because there was so much player movement and Every team changed all the time. Whereas back when, like his football in era, like sixties and seventies, players mm. weren't moving around every two. They were minutes. loyal. They were loyal. Yeah, and he kind of said he stopped playing it because of that. Because it was like I don't feel anything for these players anymore. They don't mean anything to me. Which is why now he goes back and he plays like full seasons of a particular year. So he yeah. did sixty eight, sixty nine. I can't remember what he's on now, but yeah. So playing solo was always something that happened in my family so, but at the moment where I live where I live at the moment I've got no space it's all painting stuff in my spare room so so for me much Go like on. much like Stephen and Watsy I got to be of Christmas when I, Watsy's gone again Jesus Christ Watsy oh, no, I'm trying to be professional back, here, back, back. it's back alright <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway much like these two I got to be of Christmas I was seven years old 1990 we had the drama of 19 Italian 90 that's when I first got into football and I got the stadium edition set for Christmas. And much like everyone else, I got rid of it when I got older. And that saddens me because, yeah, there's this shop nearby. I'll tell you about the shop. It was great. There's, I've still got what I have still got, which I, I, I absolutely love it. It's probably my favourite ever picture of me younger. I've got a photo of me with a Christmas tree in the background, with a pitch laid out, one grandstand set up, beauty box in a corner. That, that, that picture for me is pucker. I love it. There's no one else in it. It's just yeah. me in my old childhood home. And I think like, yeah, that's cool, man. But I got rid of this set and I must have been about, I don't know, mid-90s. I sold it. I sold it to a shop in Benfleet called Turnaround Toys. And they basically used to buy and sell toys. I'd grown up. I'd got into computer games or whatever and girls and beer and thought I was too cool for school. And I sold it. Probably got absolutely nothing for it. And that shop's not there now. And I still drive by. It cuts deep. It hurts. Because I, I think it. it's like a Chinese takeaway or something now. And I look at it and I still think, oh, should they've got it. When it I first... They've got it set up, mate, in the back. They're still playing with got it. it. Probably. I'm going to have to go in there. I want to tell you what, one day I'll go in there and order a Chinese. 
that would that might, that might it, give me closure. Film it as well it, for the channel. Yeah, it might give me closure. <laughs> might make you make, put some dramatic music behind it. I'm gonna go back to where the moment where this happened. Do like a really poor reenactment as I well. Will, like yeah. <laughs> and what I'll do, I'll, I'll 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 talk to the guys behind the counter as well. Like remember bringing in that Sabutio. <laughs> I'll be really emotional because, and they'll have no clue. <laughs> because if the Chinese if the Chinese was a front for Sabuto sellers, so you ask for a number fifty four, you get a, a Plymouth ref instead of the actual Chinese meal that's listed. It's like a uh, backstreet oh, Sabutio. We could do a takeaway oh, menu of Sabutio teams, couldn't we? <laughs> that's a good idea that. I like that. Good. So yeah, that. so I felt like you were getting a little bit deep though. We need to bring you out of it. You were, I know, yeah. So emotions that was coming up. I know. So that was my Christmas story, which, yeah, it is, it is what it is. But I'll tell you what I know about you boys. I think we said this earlier. I never get Sabutio for Christmas. All I talk about to my wife is Sabutio. And I never get Sabutio for Christmas. And she puts it down to, well, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you ain't got. Well, if she I, paid agree attention, I agree with her, mate. Because, yeah, if she watched your channel, but she's got to live with you. Exactly. And then watch your channel. I, to be fair, mate, if I lived with you, I wouldn't watch your channel. My missus no, doesn't watch my videos. No. She, I mean, like, fairness, you, she you, does watch you, them, you only because... That. The only reason she watches my videos is because we'd be laying in bed and I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm like, what'd you think of this bit? What'd you think of that bit? I'll probably do the same with this video tonight, like when we put it out. I'll be like, yeah. babe, look, what'd you think of this bit? What'd you think of that bit? And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. If she paid attention to me, she'd know what I want because I moan about it. Oh, I want this, I want that. But no, stocks instead. Yeah, you've, got, you've got so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it costs, doesn't it? Well, she could find, she, could, she knows I haven't got a salt and pepper shaker or a bottle opener. You haven't got the bottle opener. The bottle no, opener is see? brilliant, by the way. See? I'm hoping Alexa's actually, listening. It, works. it isn't broken. Like my, I had the salt and peppers. They've both gone because they both broke at the ankles. They're worse than actual Sabutio players. If I talk about it enough, Alexa will listen. She'll be scrolling through Facebook now and it'll start coming up in the old ads. Really? Yeah, I wrote about this recently because buying for somebody who collects Sabutio is so difficult because you haven't got a... It's, for somebody who doesn't really care about Sabutio, it's so confusing with the different eras, the different teams. I get loads of emails of people just saying, I want to buy an old 70s Liverpool team for my husband. What am I getting? And it's so difficult. But yeah, but I mean, like, it's like I, had, I, had a, I had my Mulder first or, email like that. Yeah. I had my first email like that. Someone was asking what Sabutio to buy because someone wanted it for Christmas. And I was scared to email them back because yeah. I thought, if I mess this up, <laughs> like, I'll probably, I'll ask, probably dance I'll around the edges on it. For what I should get. And he said this. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh, yeah. do I say lightweight? Do I say heavyweight? What do I do? It's too hard. I'm getting, uh, is, I'm getting the Flex for Kicks, 5Z Arena. Oh, no, oh cool. that's a cool. That's cool. Christmas Day is going to be Flex. I want Decent. one of them. They are good. Oh, they're they're, they look amazing. Really, really well made. Well. And the cool thing about them, have you seen the little video of how quick they are to put up and down as well? Mm. So I'm, good. And they store really small. Really, really clever what they've done with it. <laughs> really, really clever. I want a full size Sabutio Online branded flick for kicks pitch. I think it'd be absolutely amazing. That would be really good. So we could do, remember we had that conversation, boys, about getting our own pitch done? We could get yeah. a, yeah. a flick for kicks fiver side and we'll put all of our logos where we're going to have them. <laughs> That'd be cool. Our box. That would be really good. And then when we do. Gareth, if you're round, watching, get in touch. Yeah. <laughs> and if we do eventually ever get around to doing our on the road. Sabutio tournament swap meet we live can take show. that with us how good would that be to play and they could play against all of us for charity on our little um, pitch yeah Park but up. on the thing about buying Sabuto people right if you've got someone that's really really into it everyone's got that weird thing that they really really want like there's a load of people that want the crash barriers they, they really yeah. really want yeah see and again I'm not bothered so <laughs> someone like me because <laughs> it's a point of accessory mate if it was bought for me, I'd be like, all right, that's, that's cool, but I don't really, I don't really want it. But like, for someone else, they might get something that I would want. Like They might get, I don't know, like a proper Tango Alicante with the trefoil on it. Real good condition. They might be like, I don't, I don't want that. So I can imagine for someone who's got no idea about Sabutio, Sabutio collectors are so different. They've all got their thing. Like You're a lightweight guy more than anything. So like, it, it's just a, it's a minefield for people that want to buy. It, She's, only got everyone's got go. got that thing. She's only got to go on my website. It says, has a wants <laughs> list. <laughs> That's how much she cares about this room. <laughs> she doesn't even go on my website. This hurts. But forget me. I don't want to talk about me because I'm getting upset now. I'm not getting to beauty over Christmas. Like you're having a rough time on this one, Stuart. I you? know. Yeah. But instead, I'm going to go back. It's my turn to tell some stories that people have sent me. So go I'm on. going to click away from you guys. So you guys will be able to see me, but I won't be able to see you real quick. 
So Tim Excellent. Bourne got in touch with me. Wanted to send me a story. I can still, didn't know where I to can send still it. see you if that. I can still see you if that. I know you can see me, but because I'm I'm lured into a full sense of security because I can't see you lot. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! <laughs> I'm I have no idea what you're doing right now until I watch this back and edit it. So I'm going to go straight into this story. Tim Boone got in touch with a story, and it starts like this. So okay, here goes. I first saw some beauty figures being used on a show called Soccer Made in Germany over here in the States. So he's American. I was amazed there was such a game. Before seeing this, I would make my mum buy a produce at the store that used netting, such as orange, so I could use the netting for the goals and used old metal hangers as a post. I used a small rubber ball That's and would nice. just flick that ball into the goal. There was no way of trying to get the game over in the States in the late 70s, but in the 1982 Sears Christmas catalogue, when that came to the door... There was a club edition that he was so excited about. That's all he wanted for Christmas. So for Christmas 1982, he received his first Subutio box set. He got it. Oh, yes. Got it. So in America, 1982, the teams he got were reference one, standard, and then yep. a QPR 215. He's no oh, longer ooh. got it. But it gets better. He no longer has the box, but he's still got all the parts. He's got oh, two, Ari- he's got two Ariba balls that come from it. He's got one C183 FIFA ball, and he's even sent me some pictures of it, right? Which has got the old pitch as well. It's got the Astro line on the different... Honestly, these pictures, I'll post them up so everyone can see them now. He's got pictures of his original set. It looks absolutely (coughs) pucker. It still is. He says, uh, what's he say? Go on to say. In fact, what he's done to show how good the pitch is, he's put the pitch over an Astro pitch so he can see just so mm-hmm. we can see just how good that pitch is. It's one of the best Christmas gifts he's ever received, and he's been playing it ever since. He's 48 years old now, still what's playing Subutio on the same set. So what's that? 1982 in America. So that, what? 38 years? Seven years before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. so seven years before you was born and it was a lightweight set mm. I love yeah. that imagine well, the excitement on. of seeing that in the catalogue that's brilliant yeah because I see like, I, I see say, his catalogue as well Sputo was, was still <laughs> big when I was growing up because I'm a 90s a 90s yeah. and he said like Sputo was still big in the 90s so for it not to be available and then really want it. Like they're using the orange net in, so cool, by the way. That's cool, right? That's proper utilised. Just flicking so a ball cool. into the goal. Mm. Like, that's that cool. so cool. So that is, that, that's the longest story I've got. And I really like that. And what I like, the most thing I like about that as well is, Tim, thanks for getting in touch all the way from America. We went pan-European mm, on cool. one of our videos last week. We've now gone worldwide. worldwide. So Tim, worldwide. thank you so much for getting in touch. Really, really appreciate that. And it's a pucker story. On Twitter, some people got in touch with me as well. Um... Let's have a look. Let's go through these. Carwin, regular viewer, gets in touch and says, Ultimate Sabuto Christmas was 1983. Cracking year. Year I was born. Belting year. So him and his brother, let's have a look. Ultimate Christmas 1983. Father Christmas delivered a pitch on Harbord, complete with stadium and fence surrounds. Nice. So we got a stadium and cool. fence as well, mounted. Cool. How did it get in the set? Well, he's done well there, hasn't he? He's done winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, and then he got the teams he got. He got Brazil and Celtic teams, and the scoreboard said <laughs> Celtic three, Brazil one. One for what? See, <laughs> get in. And then his yeah, other we brother. Talk, we talk about Celtic brother. now. What? See, or should we leave? Should we leave that for another show? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> but get in my eyes. This gets better as well because his his brother also got a ZX Spectrum game football manager. The original, oh, the original football original. manager you know by well. Kevin Toms on the ZX Spectrum. You know, I've I seen that on Twitter. That's available on Android. You can, you can get download it. Yeah, name. iPhone and Android. In fact, mm. he, Carwin tagged Kevin Toms, the guy who made it, in it. And I said, I've seen it. I'm going to have to play it. And then Kevin Toms got in touch with me and said, yes, do it. So now I feel compelled <laughs> that I have to download yeah, the yeah. original I'm football gonna manager. I'm going to do it as well. Yeah. I'm going to do it. It's pucker. That's cool. But yeah, that we've really cool. digressed away from Sputio and gone on to <laughs> video games there. Well, no, video game channels get a lot of views, so you never know. It mm. might work. So That's back to my Twitter feed and my Christmas stories. What do I have? So that was Carwin's story. Um, Peter got in touch. He wasn't able to get a board to put the pitch on to. So what, hang on, what's this? Is he continuing the same story from now? I'm not sure. So all Peter's got in touch and said he wasn't able to get a board to put the pitch on to. So for a while, it was played on the hall floorway. Some parts of the pitch had a slight slope, but loved it all the same. I don't know if that's a relation to Carwin. <laughs> Peter and Carwin, if you're not related, I'm sorry. Peter, if it is, I'm glad you've continued the story before it got mounted. 
Um, Toffee Art got in touch to tease me and say that he'd sent his stories to you boys. And that's why I'm so glad I've heard it now because he teased me with that. Yeah. Finger I flicking actually... good. Sorry, finger flicking good. Never got to be himself for Christmas, but in 2009, he bought his son the Marks and Spencer kit. Or not kit, Marks and Spencer set which he actually mm -hmm. said was all right. It had Hasbro figures in it, which I didn't know that, actually. And the pitch was really similar to the 70s one. And then he went on I to like say... The, the box design on that set is really nice. Yeah. Like, the box went, art on it is really nice. He went good. on then to say, it's not just any Sabutio set. It's an M&S Sabutio set. <laughs> <laughs> He's ruined it. He's so, ruined yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's no. product placement, that is. Other supermarkets are available. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, M&S, you want to give us lots of money. And then, I mean, obviously, what? there's only one. If any, if any supermarket want to give us lots of money. <laughs> we'll pick that. you. So, Terry O'Sullivan got in touch and said he got a Leeds United and a Red White Man United as well. He used to have a league amongst his friends. A couple of name drops. Nick Jones, Alan Clark were twins. The third team he got was Shamrock Rovers. I'm pretty sure that's the same as Celtic, right? Shamrock Rovers? Yeah. yeah. They used to that. They did well. And they used to play against his friends Everton side on Arsenal. Good days sitting in his living room playing it. So that was Twitter. And then some people got in touch with me on Facebook as well. Been all over the show here, yeah, look. Been, and now it's just all disappeared off busy, the page. Man, yeah. I know. It's because we put... You know why? I got more because I put this out Tuesday. And then we put back the recording a little bit, didn't we? So I've got some more from Facebook. I've got some more from Facebook. Cole Robinson got, inv got involved and said he remembers getting Sabuto Christmas back in 87. The set with Watford and Villa on it. Is that the one with John Barnes? Yeah, I don't know. It is John Barnes, isn't it? I think it is. You don't see that one very Villa often. Villa on it. Christmas Day, playing against his... <laughs> sorry, I'm reading it. Playing against his brother and his dad. He walked... His da no, sorry. He's playing against his brother. His dad walked into the room and broke a corner flag. <laughs> so straight away, corner flag broken. But as for the teams, he had the normal red team, but also a green team as well, black stripes. I like the fact that he uh, had it for Christmas and straight away, corner flag got broke. Happens, <laughs> mate. Corner Jamie Vardy, Jamie Vardy all over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy Oliver, Andy Oliver got involved. He got the floodlight stands as a kid. Oh, no, he got one as a kid, the floodlight stands, and his dad fixed it all. Sorry, I'm reading this, but I'm reading the punctuation. You know what my stuff's like on the internet. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Everyone else is like, basically, he's got a full stop in there that shouldn't be there. He got one as a kid, floodlights, balls and stands. His dad fixed it all down on the board, and it looked great. George Thompson got involved. He lived off hand-me-downs from relatives until 1978 when for Christmas he received Newcastle and Celtic to go with the red and blues that he already had. Uh, he was playing games on a 4 by 2 snooker table before he was given some felt with the teams and some goals, albeit minus the nets. So he had goals and no nets. Christmas Day was spent with his big sister cutting the felt to size and marking it out ready to play. It was hard to tell without goal netting. Then the genius idea from her was to use netting from Satsumas. This is a common theme. There you go. That's a thing, yeah. People using a common theme, this. All set to play Newcastle with Celtic when the lights went out. I was distraught because of being afraid of the dark and he wanted to play time. Dad to the rescue, come through and come out with some torches to either side. It was like a real European night on the telly. And for the record, what's he? Celtic won. 4-2. That was a that's a than, nice story. That's, that's, yeah. I like that. Using torches because it got dark. Well, I like that. So they are informing it. Aren't they? They're doing well. <laughs> You're right. And then Tony not got involved as well. He got his first set on Christmas Day 1991. Floodlight edition. Six months later, the World Cup was in Spain and he was collecting as many teams as possible. That is all my stories. But they, I'll tell you what, all four of us have had some wicked stories sent to us. Wow, yeah, the beauty of makes Christmas. And... Let us know in the comments. If you're watching this just before Christmas, are you getting Sabuto for Christmas? If you've found this after Christmas because you've searched Sabuto because you've got Sabuto, let us know. If you've come to this because you've got Sabuto for Christmas, let us know. Let us know what Sabuto you've got for Christmas. Did you get a new set? Did you get an old set? Are you getting involved? Who have you played it with? Who you had a row with about it? Who scored a known goal? Who broke your player? Let us all know. Let us know down in the comments. We want to hear that. We want to hear all about it. Definitely. Right, can we now is the time. Um, now is the time. I've got one more quick Christmas story that oh, I forgot God. about. Last year, I actually decorated my entire tree in Sabuto. Yes, of course you did. That's <laughs> right. Of course you did. I'll put the picture yeah, up now. Big, I will try and find it now. Pick up at the top, yeah. <laughs> I'll try and find that picture, and hopefully it's flashing up in front of everyone now. I'll try and get that on. But Callum loses his noodle sitting in the corner. Oh, yeah, let's do oh, this. Callum, Callum does decorations <laughs> as well. Callum's got, I've got one of Callum's decorations. They look good. Go on, who's going first? Are we all, uh, do, we, do, do we all know who they're from? Does anyone got an inkling who they're from? I know I know who mine's from. I know, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I know, know you think. Who's excited enough to go first? I'll go first. Go on in, Callum. Go for it. 
I don't but know. these are our secret centers. If you're on the podcast, these are our secret centers that we all decided we was going to buy Mine, each other uh, for this episode. Mine's, mine's, mine's floppy, so I think it's uh, my, my, my package is floppy. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> my, wrong channel, mate. Wrong channel. <laughs> this, this, my, is uh, a, this is a 100% one of a kind Sabutio item, just to spoil who sent it. Oh, so we know who sent it. Excellent. Okay. So from Sabutio Online to Westwood Table Soccer. It's, do you know what? That's decent. So, <laughs> oh no, my background's in the Oh, look at that! It's a, uh, it's it's a logo. logo. Yeah. What is it? I can't see Locker. it. Your background. Stop moving. Sorry, mate. Hold it in front of you. Oh, I'm trying to, but it keeps blowing blurry. It... The way you're standing looks like a kid at Christmas showing off his present. <laughs> looks like I've just signed. I've just signed on for. <laughs> It's video show, but my my background's killing it. Let me turn that off. I'll show you guys probably. Let me this get the old see sitting in bed. We'll see him sitting in bed now. Look. Nah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, little. Uh, That's not a car. I want one. I want one. No, hey, well, no. There's actually an extra surprise for Colin, which didn't get there in time. So he's getting a second one because that t-shirt was surprisingly cheap. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> so. Calvin, as we all know that you like Sabutio, the, the older the better. The, the older yeah, the Sabutio yeah. you get, the happier you are. And in the first episode, I'm excited you now hearing Plymouth, about it. Yeah, yeah. Plymouth Ref 54. So I've got you a celluloid Plymouth Ref 54, which is on its oh, way to you. So that's amazing. You yes. You'll have to get the basis yourself, but there you go. That's also that's on its way. I can sort that out. Oh, cool. That's amazing. Cheers, secret, Stephen. So, Stephen, your turn. Seeing as you've sent that one, you can do this one. Okay. I've got this one. Here we go. Oh, that's big. Very <laughs> I used a bit in advance because it was. Oh. Are, we about, are we talking about Stephen's package? It's got a big There's package. Some, it's packaged in snow, which is very annoying. Oh, yes. I did that on purpose. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Callum. This is from Callum. This is from Callum. Oh, this I is nice. That, so it would go everywhere. This is a, a Westwood table soccer Sabutio mug. <laughs> but Excellent. That is brilliant. It's more than that. That's, um, oh. oh, my God. Oh, look at that, some squads. <laughs> Earl Barrett and Dave Watson. Signed? They're signed, mate. That is a Are they weird. actually signed? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get wow, them? Wow, that is incredible. Where did you wrangle that? Oh, they were you... an eBay special, mate. Dave, Dave Watson is one of the most underrated Premier League defenders of all time. He kept Everton up for about four years and then he managed <laughs> them and kept them up again. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And the mug's really oh, good sure. too because I've left my Sabutio mug in work and I'm not allowed lockdown, so it's probably grown all sorts of mould. So that's a brilliant oh, um, right. replacement for it. Wait, oh, that's, that's a good brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is another one where I had an original plan of what I wanted to get you, Stephen, right? but I couldn't get anyone to do it. I wanted to get you the 1995 FA Cup final Sabutio ball. But everyone that oh. makes the didn't have the decals to do it. So I was like, that was my original. I was like, that would be so good. Oh. Getting the custom ball from '95, that'd be amazing. But I say I asked a few people, and nobody had made the decals for it. But I will try at some point I, to try and get someone to make some. That That's too pocket. I, I searched everywhere for a, a Tango Alicante for you, but absolutely impossible. Oh, yeah, That's too pocket presents. No, that's amazing. That's too, Cheers, Steve. So that's mine, good. I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna do mine yeah, for that. because obviously people might have worked out now that obviously uh, <laughs> you bought it for yourself. <laughs> mine might be from Watsy, but it's very thin. This very thin. snow is everywhere. Oh yes, I I literally feel this. I remember now. <laughs> I've absolutely destroyed this box. I'll get it out. Oh, I made it with that. Oh, look at that! Oh, the beauty cons. They're the bollocks. Look They're at very that. Good. Oh, Arsenal. Oh, I love that. Bruce Banana on Arsenal night too. Here we got Alan Smith, Merson, Ian Wright. Who's that? Paul Davis. Paul Castle. Oh. Did, did Rocky play in that kit? Did Rocky play in that kit? Yeah. Wow. So. Man, that's, that's Parker. Cool. That is cool. Do you know what? <laughs> I feel really bad now because my present's more of a joke. <laughs> 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 You've all got really nice presents. I've got to say really nice, but mine's more of a Mickey take. <laughs> well, I, I feel... I thought this is, this is a rageous <laughs> kit. <laughs> Please. No, no, it's not that bad. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that to him. <laughs> What's it, man? Thank you. That's wicked. Oh my god, that's amazing. I've I've got I've got the top of it open here. <laughs> I'm excited. 
<laughs> oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> because I know how much you love the show. <laughs> So now you know why I feel bad. I didn't even get <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> well, this is what you were one. saying last night. So last night, Martin was saying he was really jealous that he that Watts he had a present that he didn't. So I said, "Don't worry, there's two in there. You can have one each." <laughs> oh, I'm so amazing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've got a receipt. I've got a receipt to make the time. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry, but I, as soon as as soon as as soon as I got sent the name, I was like, I know what I have to buy him. <laughs> like, oh, so you broke the room over the fifteen pound limit. You was it really? How much was it? For the- <laughs> Twenty quid. <laughs> But it was so Did worth it. That is so Can you enjoy Did them? He was only yeah. saying last night you used That's to enjoy the earlier day, versions mate. and they were done before yeah. they actually got on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'll watch them over Christmas. Because no one's going to watch Mrs Brown's Boys because it's not funny. So you can watch Table Football Monthly. You can watch, Table yeah. But I generally feel bad now because you've all given really nice gifts and I've got this wicked picture and I've just taken the piss with mine. Mm. I think it's funny though. Bad. I might just throw the old. I might throw the old T-shirt on. Bear with me. So what's the yeah? What's the? I might send you over. I might send you over one of my T-shirts as well. I might send you two. Not, one for the no, prize no, and one one for one for you as well. Don't Look, be crazy. Dress oh, good. If, if I had a thought, I would have got you a, a Tottenham print. <laughs> yeah, I will next. That's what I'll get next time. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Very good. Uh. Callum, are we going to get one of them poses where you sort of do the half, hold half, half like, cut half your face, like you, know you do on, I, like you do on um, Twitter? I'll do it for the uh, the thumbnail, mate. It's like... <laughs> Actually, they make me laugh thumbnail, every time. The thumbnail is going to be Watsy holding his two DVDs up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, as soon as I got, as soon as soon he Watsy sent me his name and said, "You've got me," I was just like, "I know what I have to buy him," and there was oh, no way I could buy anything else. <laughs> <laughs> even when I told, even when I told my other half and told her the story behind it, she found it funny. <laughs> That's amazing. That amazing. I like it. You might enjoy oh, it. Not one, but two. <laughs> <laughs> So very quickly, let's, let's wrap this up. What are we all doing for Christmas? What are you all doing for Christmas? Really quickly. Even go first. Know, mate. Oh, we're tier two up here, so we can go into a bubble with my parents, which is quite good. Oh, so, yeah. tease. I might, I might, I might take the five side arena and have a little Christmas tournament. Nice. FC Santa Claus and Tunbridge Angels get those teams involved. Nice, Callum. What about yourself? Uh, not a massive amount, I don't think, because um, I got split family, so usually it's really busy. But with obviously the current situation, it's not going to be as busy. But mm. obviously, yeah, I'll just be kicking around here, probably see my mum, uh, my old man. I will see everyone, but just have to be real, real careful with who I see and yeah. when. But yeah, no, not a lot. What's mate. He? What about nice. you, man? The same. Don't think we can see go and see my parents, uh, my mum. So I think it's gonna be stay at home, subidio, family, drink, food, turkey, yeah, that's it. DVDs. Get some DVDs on yeah. Yeah. Um, DVD. Same for me. <laughs> it's exactly the same for me. I don't. We don't know who we're seeing. We don't know if we're seeing my mum. We don't know if we're seeing her mum. We don't know when we're seeing anyone. It's just we don't know. We're all in tier three there, aren't we? So it's only Stephen who's in tier two, isn't it? Now nah, we're tier two. Yeah. Are you tier two as well? Mm. See, I can't even go down the pub. We're going to end the food lockdown and boxing day. Six weeks. Really? Shop, really. shop the lot. Oh, Jesus. Everything. Crazy. Oh, well. oh, I know Wales. Aren't Wales doing a, on the 28th? They're doing one, aren't they? They're doing they're something, yeah. But anyway, everyone, we hope you've enjoyed this Christmas edition of Netflix and Subuto Show. We will be back in the new year with loads more stuff. We'll be putting together this charity set that we want to put together. We'll be talking about non Sputio stuff as well. Yeah, we do We do get a lot of comments people saying the, the fact that we're only doing Sputio stuff. And it's like, we're only doing yeah. that to start with. Because as I keep saying in the comments, the reason we do it is because all of us love Sputio, right? And we want to try and celebrate and highlight 
what was amazing about it and what we all love about it to try and because the video is doing a terrible job at the moment and we can all agree on it they're not doing a great job at reigniting it and doing the right thing with it so for us it was like you know what let's celebrate what they did brilliantly and what we yep, love about amen. it but every single one of us has got bits and pieces i mean i paint on stuff that's not proper sabutio like so there will be stuff that's not proper sabutio so it is coming they are everyone's going to get their chance all these things that we've spoken about like the extreme works pitch that got mentioned the other week all this stuff that is non sabutio but still sabutio is going to have its time so yeah, guys I mean, honestly that was, just, that was my last purchase none of it's sabutio oh, cheeky little santiago box in there i know it's not one of yours though sorry yeah I don't know who's got my teams. I'd love to know where some of my teams ended up. If anyone gets one of Callum's teams or what's his teams for Christmas, let us know. We want to know. Did you get? Them? Did you know you was getting them? <coughs> Hopefully, they- before we do, before we say Merry Christmas to everyone, Stephen, when's the magazine coming out? When, when, when's uh, that coming? I've got no pressure. three more things. I've got three more things to do with it that are all down to me now. So I Can't don't wait know. for it. Um, it's 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 very nearly done. Design and everything. Printers all set up. All sorts. Can't um, wait. But yeah, my promise for before Christmas is not going to happen because of work oh. commitments. But you'll have Lots noticed work, the blog's man. you'll have noticed the blog's been really quiet as well. But we've got some really really exciting stuff happening in January. So fuck off, keep going back. Excellent. Well, look, <laughs> boys, you make sure you have a cracking Christmas. Everyone else out there, stay safe as well. Stay safe over Christmas. Don't yeah, do it if it's silly. Enjoy yourselves. Get your little. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you all in the <laughs> new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, all. Have a good one. <laughs>